Gary Harris has, has maybe been the best player to have, and I'm sure, you know, we missed some earlier that, you know, gave us a chance. And uh, so, I have any questions you got, I'll answer. Um, what happened uh, on defensively, both on the Oladipo tip in and on the dunk there? Uh, well, the dunk there was a mistake and a switch. And, the, the play that was the killer was the tip. And what happened is he's got incredible heart. And he just did what he does. I just gave you our scout report right now. It'd be, you know, cut him out, cut him out, cut him out. We didn't. And he went and got it. So. Uh, with the way Keith struggled in the, in the previous game in Indiana, do you think maybe he put a little bit too much on him today? Is that maybe why he struggled so much? You know, I really don't know, to be honest with you. Was, I felt bad for him. Just uh, wasn't this wasn't his self. Uh, I think he I think he get to the point where you know he's a very good defender and he kind of let his offense dictate his defense, uh, and that was the biggest problem uh, early. But all that being said, you know, I think Zeller gets I think four baskets out of the first five, you know, and then he doesn't. You know, we did a pretty good job after that, but we just you know. Just touch on the last 90 seconds or so and how they were able to make some plays and things like that. Well, they made some plays. I mean, I don't know if they made some plays. They missed shots and they got tip ins. That's a play. But, you know, defensively, we did what we wanted to do and they got a shot up and they missed the shot and he went in and tipped it in. And we missed a couple free throws in that 90 seconds. Could have put us up five and then could have put us up four. And then they get the three point play when he drives right and drives right and drives right and he drove right. And uh, so there were some things that really disappointed me about the discipline of my team tonight. But um, it's, it's, you know, it's keeping guys focused and uh, sometimes distractions and things or you, you start thinking you're better than you are. And we didn't play with the same energy and that was disappointing. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm going to deal with somebody on that later. How tough is it to have a game that means as much as this one does and feel like you guys just didn't get your best shot to give it everything you had? Well, don't, hey, don't take nothing against away from Indiana. I mean, they, they came in our place where you should be 8, 10 points better and, you know, control the large part of the game. Um, they, they all played us. I mean, we did not play very good and they had a lot to do with it. I mean, uh, I thought they... You know, inside, they took it right at us. Inside, we're throwing up left-hand hooks and chance to get fouled. And, you know, um, the play on Zeller was a tough play, man. I don't know what it looked like to you guys. It was a tough play, but it's part of basketball. We still had our chances. You know, if we make some plays ourselves or make some free throws, we still win the game. And uh, But it was two good teams. Played hard. Uh, second half, I thought we played harder than we did the first half. I thought Indiana played awfully hard the whole game and deserved to win. Lost this time, the Knicks had that stretch, uh, a couple baskets in the steal. Can you just talk about what Indiana did before that, uh, different things to try to take away today? I don't, I don't know if it was all them or part us, to be honest with you. Tom, can you talk about the decision to uh, use Denzel Valentine over uh, Brandon Dawson late? Well, we just, uh, you know, Brandon was struggling a little bit early on cutting out too, and really both guys struggled on that, but uh, we just felt like uh, the way it was going, Brandon was fine with it. It was just, uh, you know, we needed a little more of a shooter in there, and uh, so we went with him. It was just a, just a coach's choice. After some time, can you take some good out of a, a game that was as uh, March-like as you could get in February? I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I'm, I'm sure there was, like I said, I was took up the death at halftime. There were only six down. and um, I guess we played the number one team in the country to a couple-point game at their place and our place. And you probably can take something out of that. but. You know, you can also take something out that uh, we didn't answer the bell tonight, if you ask me, early in the game. And I made a big point to tell my team, I think we get too caught up with everybody and TV and everything where, 
we always talk about buzzer beaters and end of the game plays. Um, two points in the beginning because you don't guard a guy or get a back cut or do something are the same two points as they are at the end of the game. They just all add up. So games aren't lost with a free throw at the end. Uh, they just we just magnify it. Uh, that game was lost early. I, I, I thought I did not think we did a good enough job early, and they really took it at us. And you got to give Indiana a lot, a lot of credit for that.